guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make a quick video going over the best way to treat goats for the barber pole stomach worm. So if you have goats or are getting into goats, you'll soon realize that the barber pole stomach worm is one of the worst parasites that a goat can get. They live in the grass and then the goats come along, they eat the grass, the worm then attaches itself into the goat's stomach, it'll lay eggs, hatch eggs, and then eventually the goat will poop out these worms, they'll go back into the grass, and then more goats will come along and eat the grass. So it's very important to know how to treat these um, worms and goats. It's pretty simple. So the first thing we have is Cydectin. You'll hear a lot of people, if you go online, talking about Ivermectin. Well, in different parts of the country, Ivermectin has been used so much that these worms have almost established like a resistance to Ivermectin. So I've found that Cydectin, it's in the same family, works a lot better. So this, you give it a rate of four and a half milliliters cc's per 25 pounds. So if a goat weighs 100 pounds, 100 divided by 25 is four, multiply four times 4.5, so 18 milliliters. Another tip is to have one of these syringes with a long neck, so it's easier to fill out of the bottle, and it's also much easier to administer to the goats. So as compared to this uh, normal syringe you see right here, um, the neck is a lot longer, which means you can get it further down the goat's neck, uh, throat, I should say, and administer all the medicine without any coming out of their mouth. So before I got one of those, I would just stick this as far as I could in the goat's mouth and half of it, would they'd spit it up and it, it, they wouldn't get the effective dosage. So very important that you get one of these. But just a quick recap, 4.5 milliliters per 25 pound body weight. And it's very important also to know your goat's body weight. Um, there's ways that you can measure them with a um, loose tape measure, uh, like you would fit for like a suit or something. Just wrap it around their midsection. There's charts online that show you how to convert it. So that's pretty important also. Next up, we have Valbazin. This is a very, very good um, drug for killing these barber pole stomach worms. This, you give in a dosage of two milliliters per 25 pound body weight. So if we go back to the 100 pound goat, for example, um, 25 or 100 divided by 25, you get four. Two times four, eight. So you'd give eight milliliters for a 100 pound goat. So with these two, you give Cydectin on the first day. And if you have a very bad um, case of stomach worms in a goat, you can give Valbazin um, three days in a row to really break that life cycle of the worms, um, kill any worms that are hatching out. And then on the 10th day, you can come back and medicate with Cydectin again and Valbazin again if uh, so desired and really kill those eggs that have hatched out uh, from the mature worms that were already in the stomach and kill those uh, now that they have hatched. So if you have a goat with a very bad case, uh, very anemic, um, that's what you'd want to do. So. Now that we have treated the worm and the goat, we still have to reestablish the goat's um, red blood cells and start building them back up because the barber pole stomach worms have been sucking blood out of the goat from the inside their stomach. So they're very weak, anemic, so they need to be rebuilt. So this is where red cell comes in. So this is basically just a iron uh, formula, very, very rich in iron. So I give this usually about eight or nine milliliters, just depends if the goat's very big, I'll give them some more. But what's important to know in this is you cannot overdose them on this. Whatever their body does not absorb, they'll just pee it out. So it's much better to give them more than they need and let them pee out the excess instead of giving them not enough and then leaving their bodies wanting more. So give this, um, you can go online and look at specific charts for weight and all, but I usually just give nine or 10 milliliters for a normal size goat. If they're bigger, I'll give more. And then B12, this really helps in the rebuilding of red blood cells, which is also what the red cell does. So with these two in a combination um, of the two of them, it's very, very effective in rebuilding the red blood cells. And you can give the red cell for multiple days in a row. And it's almost recommended that you give it for several days in a row, just Keep looking at the um, FAMACHA, which it takes time to um, get darker in color. So you're not going to give this for three days and then the FAMACHA be normal. So just keep that in mind. But um, these are very effective in helping rebuild the red blood cells of a goat. 
So as the old saying goes, the best offense is a good defense. So what are some things that we can do to prevent the barber pole stomach worm from affecting our goats? The main thing would be to feed your goats off of the ground and in containers if you're using like a pellet feed. So the barber pole stomach worm can only go up um, the grass five inches. So make sure you don't cut your fields below five inches. So um, the goats will be able to eat above the line where the worms are at. And then another good thing is to rotationally graze. So have the ability to section off your pastures and have the goats in one while the other section is growing the grass. And then once it's ready, turn the goats in there, section them off again from the place they were previously in and allow that grass to grow. If you just have one big area where they're constantly eating, they're just gonna eat it down and that will in result have them eating at the line where the worms are or even lower which in certain times of year that may not be possible to avoid because the grass is not growing as, as much. Like right here, we're almost into spring. The grass is starting to grow, but they're eating it as soon as it comes up. So they're gonna be getting some worms. You have to watch them, make sure uh, you don't see any diarrhea or anything like that. Another thing to keep in mind is don't overpopulate your goats or have them overcrowded because more goats means more poop, which means more worms. So. Um, if you think you might have too many goats, you're seeing a lot of poop build up in common areas where they eat, sleep and all, you might want to think about reducing your herd size a little bit. Just have them enough room to be comfortable and, and sanitary because goats are not too choosy of where they go to the bathroom. They'll go anywhere, whether that be in their feeding troughs, feed bowls, in the hay where they sleep or whatever. So good idea not to overcrowd your goats because that leads to a lot of health problems, not just the barber pole stomach worm, so keep that in mind also. And lastly, buy good quality goats. Um, certain breeds are more parasite resistant than others. Last year, I only had to worm one goat. I've selected throughout the years which goats I wanna keep, which ones I wanna breed. And I've got pretty good quality goats and I don't have a terrible problem with the barber pole stomach worm, but it still comes about sometimes. Heavy rain, real wet conditions are very bad for the barber pole stomach worm. Well, it's good for the worm, bad for the goats. So just keep in mind, buy quality goats. Um, if you have a goat that needs treating over and over and over again, just go ahead and get rid of the goat cost and headache out of your operation. It's much better in the long run. So in closing, guys, just know how to use the wormers that you have. Know how to use the red cell, the B12, and have good practices for your goats. Don't overpopulate. Keep them eating high in the grass, like we said. Don't feed them on the ground. Just simple stuff like that. It's really not that difficult. You can go online, find more information if you need to. But if you like this video and you're looking for more information on goats, we have a top 10 tips for new goat owners. I'll put it in one of the corners of this video. And thanks for watching, guys.